Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Undertale. My name is Weasel, and in the last episode, we nearly escaped death from Underdyne, who I assume tried to kill me, maybe? I don't know. Uh, he wants my soul, or she wants my soul, actually. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. That's weird, weird crystal. Squeak. Ha, because of the mouse, you know. Yeah. Anyway, there's a save point, which would have been an even better place to save the game, but what can you do? Uh, I'm determined, so I'm saving, and we're gonna keep going. Sweet. Hey, Zads, how's it going? I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. That's so nice of you, Zans. Thank you. I, I, I really appreciate that. Uh, how do I do that? Right. How's about it? How's about it? Hmm. Use the telescope. No, of course. I would love to use it. All right, let's see if we can find something here. Just red. Why is it all red? This is quite odd. Ah, uh, my eye is red now. <laughs> he put like color on it. It's an odd looking telescope. I can see that. Use the box. Nah. I don't think I need to actually. Sure, let's use the box and let's put in the manly bandana. Thanks to finish. Oh, hi there. Hey, little guy. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? I don't think I'm a star. I mean... I mean, <laughs> I mean, no, not really. Oh, it's you again, weird bunny icicle. I really okay this is my store, but there are still no customers. I'm gonna buy something. Fortunately, I thought out of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have free cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ah, ice cream. All right, I would love uh, 25, yeah. I'll, I'll take one. Your card's in the box. You got the ice cream. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take a second one. Why not? Cards in the box. You got the ice cream. All right, let's grab those cards. I guess. Oh, it's in the box. Okay, I don't have to. I don't have to do anything. Um, sure. Let's let's buy a third one. Yeah. And now I should get a fourth one, right? Your cards in the box. Oh. That, that took me a while to realize. No, thank you. The other box. The other box. There's ice cream hidden in the depths of a watery cave. Intriguing. All right, two bugs in a box are playing a three card game. Take a card. Yeah. All games must end one day. You got a punch card. Oh, I'm gonna take the other cards. Yes, take. You got a punch card. And last but not least, the card. Yes, take, gimme, give gimme. Give and he will give me, hopefully, another one. Hey, you have free punch cards. How about redeeming them for some ice cream? Yes, it's free. Uh, I'll gladly take that. Okay, now I have three slots left. We got, we got plenty of health potions now, I guess. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. <laughs> well, that's one way to promote your business, I guess. Okay, uh, what is this? This is some interesting looking forest. Let's go to the right. Oh, there's a duck over there. Well, let's see if we can reach the duck. Poor little duck, all lost. All on its own. This is magical. And more flowers. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Okay. Maybe we need to find more to know what the wish is. I wonder. No, we're attacked by oh, mold smalls. Um, mold smalls. Uh, flirt. You wiggle your hips. Mold small wiggles back. What, what a meaningful conversation. All right, mold smalls. They're easy. A little bit chaotic, but I'm good. Mercy. You won. Yay. I guess I could have probably done that right away. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Oh. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very murdery, but I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me. You were wearing a dusty tutu because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with that one is easy. Oh, okay. Ha! I should probably change clothes then, but I don't have anything with me, right? Yeah, I have the bandage. 
Heals 10 HP. Ah, well. I would totally change if I wasn't near a box, but the next time I'm gonna go to a box, I might do that. You walk into Mold Small. I'm just gonna spare him right away. You don't need to do anything. You can just spare them when they're low level, I guess. You hear a passive conversation. You don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Man, that's 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 a very infringing forest, infringing on your privacy. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Oh, who wants to take that? Oh, hey there. Okay, this is, oh. Weird things are happening. I can't move anymore. Hi there. Oh, look at you. Hey there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion Sen. Onion Sen, you here? Hi, Onion Sen. How are you doing, Onion Sen? Um. See, so here's the thing, Onion Sen. I can't move anymore. I'm kind of. I. Guess I could try to use momentum, but that's not really working. Hey, Onion Sen, you might wanna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call uh, Papyrus. Onion. Uh, okay, that didn't help. What about um item? Um, no, that won't do anything. Ha! <laughs> I would call Toriel, but mm, that didn't help me. I know, I know. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. You're visiting Waterfall. Oh, it's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Okay, I guess I just have to wiggle around until I get out of here. Until she lets me go or so. You wanna maybe let me go? Big onion sand, that would be so great! I feel a little, little stuck here, come on. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but hey, hey, that's okay. It beats moving through the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. That face, though. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, hi. That's okay, though, you hear? Online's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? You're a little bit weird. Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Oh! In Waterfall. Oh, okay, so it looked like I wasn't moving at all. But I was actually moving, it's just I did not have a point of reference and, um... My little uh, squiddy friend there, Onion San, made it look like I wasn't moving. I thought I was stuck, but I wasn't. Ah, perspective. Shirin hides in the corner, but someone encounters you anyway. Interesting. Act. Um... Smile! You smile. You ask to see Sharon smile, too. Sharon gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Toot. <laughs> okay. Sharon hums very faintly. All right. Spare. Hum hum. Hmm. I wonder what I have to do with this one. Yep. Nope. Leave me alone. Doing karaoke by yourself. Um, let's hum with them. You hum a sad song. Sharon follows your melody. Sire, sire, see me, see me. It's adorable. Seems much more comfortable singing along. Now well, let's try. Oh, I can. I can already spare her. Fantastic. You won. Lovely. All right. What well, this one? The northern room hides a great treasure. It was the ice cream. It's the ice cream, right? Uh, what? There's a piano here. Play it. Yes. Hmm, I have actually no idea. What could this be? Hmm, I wonder what the hmm, circle means. Let's see. What does the engraving say? A haunted song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. I thought that would do the trick. Hmm, a puzzle. A puzzle of some sort. Let's go back to that. Let's check the rest of the cavern first. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. 
there's only one exception, the soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could also absorb the soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Oh. Oh, hey there. It's a statue. The structure at its feet seems dry. Ah, oh, odd. I wonder. This is a creepy looking statue. Please take one. What is this? Take an umbrella. Yeah, I'll take one. You took an umbrella. Okay. Um, this is probably... Hmm, wonder if this is needed. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Oh. Okay. He's just tagging along. You're not really walking under the umbrella though, so that's kind of... Mood point, isn't it? Man, Unline is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. Haha. <laughs> what a weirdo. What a weird little creature. Interesting rain. Um, can't get over there yet. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> Weird little critter, and I'm sorry for the horrible voice I'm doing. Oh, uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Hmm, interesting. Me? Well, kind of... Oh, well, I'm not innocent. I killed Toriel. Yes, I know. I know. Mistakes were made. Oh, I'm here. This is pretty. Very pretty. Oh, is he going along? Oh, yeah. Or are we looking at the... Hmm, what a nice... What a nice outlook. Uh, we keep going through here. I like the change in perspective just to switch up things a little bit. Return the umbrella. Yeah, I put it back. You return the umbrella. Didn't know I would need one. Okay, so how do we... Oh. How, how do we get across there? Yo, the sledge is way too steep. The sledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, that's cool. Yo, you got on the head. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. <laughs> and fall on your face. What an adorable little, little, little dragon. I'm gonna assume it's a little dragon. A little dragon monster. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Yeah, it's just, that, that really blows. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top. It fills you with determination. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Man, I feel bad to be a human, and I already killed someone. D I did not know that I was another way. Just so you know. Maybe I should have changed clothes. Ooh. Okay, I guess that's a new mechanic we're gonna have to deal with. Ah, that's fine, I can, I can work with this. We just keep moving. We're gonna be good. Maybe not directly walk through it. Alright, I think it gives me a few ways to escape this. Up. Oh, we're all good. I'm so sorry, Undyne. I didn't. Nope. And uh, we're fighting again. Ouch. I made a mistake. I wanna repent my sins. It's dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Alrighty then. Guess we're gonna do it down here. Just keep walking through. We got this. Well, so far so good. I'm not dead yet, so I'm gonna book that under personal victory. Whew. That was a close call. Okay, we're good. We made it. I think. Let's just... Never mind, there's more. More to come. Uh oh. Dead end. Oh, that's just lovely. That's exactly what I needed. A dead end. And. Hey, Undyne. 
Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh. No good. And I'm falling. Yep, I'm getting what I deserve, aren't I? It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Schnick, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Ah, oh, we fell into a bed of flowers again. How convenient! Oh, what is... Ooh, what is this? Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Huh, cool. I guess this is the sewer system or something of the monsters. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the caverns. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Hmm. This is a little, little dark here. Oh, a bike! You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. <laughs> A beat-up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Oh man, big desktop computers. Love them. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no sign of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one. Oh yeah, of course. You got the astronaut food. Cool. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks over the edges. <laughs> Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Um, no. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Yeah, I have, I have no need to doing that. Poor dummy. <gasps> well, I guess it wants to fight me. Haha, <laughs> too intimidated to fight me, huh? I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too. Wait a second, that's a ghost? Until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat, but the things you said... Horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right off their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. That's not nice. Mad dummy blocks the way. Yeah, he looks, he looks kind of mad. Act, mad dummy, talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Hey guys, ooh, ooh. Boop. Okay. Oh, it hurts himself. Oh, you dummies, watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you, forget I said, oh, sorry. Forget I said anything about magic. Magic dummy's looking nervous. Let's talk more. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul. Hey, you do that. That's fine with me. Nice! Smells like a clothing store. <laughs> what? You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for it. Yeah, okay. I, I I got this so far. Uh wrong way, wrong way. Yeah, try your best. Ooh, damn it. That hit me. Magic dummy glares into a mirror. Damn it. I skipped whatever that was. Let's keep talking. Hmm. No one is happy with this. Okay, let's see. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Ooh, okay. More attacks now, but also higher chance to hit him with that. It smells like a clothing store. No conversations. <sighs> then everything I will want will be mine. I wonder if there's a way that I can... Hmm, damn it. Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. <laughs> Can I, can I show mercy? I could already try to do that. Like, spare him. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousins. Ooh, shit. Crap. Mad dummy is getting cotton all over the... Yeah, okay. Shit, no, I didn't want to do that. Fine. I'll just try sparing at this point. Come on, hit, hit, hit. Ah, finally a hit. Mad dummy is getting cotton. Yes. All over the box. Whatever, whatever, whatever! Ah, oh, we got some hits, that's nice. I mean, I get... Can I show mercy? I'm just gonna keep sparing, I mean... That's the best I can do at this point. I was just gonna say, stop hitting yourself. 
That would be a good start. <sighs> futile, futile, futile. Okay, where is he gonna stop? Looks like he's gonna stop here. Oh, he's angry. Hey, guys. Oh. Dummies, dummies, dummies. Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures, you're fired. You're all being replaced. Ha 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 ha. Now you see my true power. I'm just gonna. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical worse, fill the room. Uh oh. Let's keep talking. Okay, let's see what he brings now. Demibots, magic missile. I guess it worked. Flash into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. <laughs> Try again. Oh. Come on. Ah, damn it. That didn't work out at all. Well, I guess we're gonna have to direct the rockets now. Ouch. Freaking hit. Ouch. Oh, man. Okay, a few hits have landed. Not too many. I'm gonna have to use an uh, nice cream. You're just great. You recovered 15 HP. Final attack. Okay. Holy moly. Okay, that might actually hit. Whew. N no way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I can be your friend. Whoa. I've got knives. That's not nice. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. Woo. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. <laughs> You'll be stuck fighting me forever. 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 Yeah, I chill out. Relax. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, poor guy. What the heck is this? Uh, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Well, I mean, he's still angry, but he didn't die, I guess, so... Ooh, it's you! I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no... Well, I guess because we didn't kill him before? Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. <laughs> the cool ghost, uh, uh what is his name? Um, Kasplug? I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Hey, my house is up here, in case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Oh, I'd totally check out that house. Are you kidding me? That's gonna be awesome. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. We're gonna save and we're gonna continue in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out and hope to see you around. Say bye-bye. You wanna say bye to people? Yeah. Bye-bye.